Let me know when you got speed. Speed. All right. What is it like working with James McAvoy and Sam Jackson? Like, what is that? I mean, every day was kind of a pinch. I mean, I've worked with, I've been lucky enough to work with some extraordinary actors, and this one was. I remember seeing this movie in the theater. I mean, this was something. I mean, I'm not that old, but I'm not that young either. So I remember. I like how you're just like. Well, I mean, same. You're like me. Yeah, yeah. um, so I remember being a young person seeing this movie and and loving it. I specialize in those individuals who believe. They are superheroes. Sam Jackson and Bruce Willis and James McAvoy are just like some of the, they're just, every single one of them has a different thing that they're so gifted at. And, you know, James is playing, you know, more characters than he even did in the first split, in the first movie. So uh, that was a really extraordinary masterclass to have a front row seat for. That was very exciting. And I plan to steal everything I learned from him and do it everywhere else and pass it off as my own invention. <laughs> Good for you. You said you weren't sure if you were going to come back to this movie or not. Were you lying or were you telling the truth that you really didn't know? I'm never lying. I'm just telling a truth that, you know, other people don't know. No, I'm, I, I think I kind of knew, but I was just trying not to get into trouble. No way. How is it working with Sarah and Bruce and so Sam amazing. and... Yeah. They're, they're so amazing. They're genuine, like, sometimes press can be a bit intense and a bit over the top with these people they're genuinely family and it's so easy and it's so you know going into work every single day was a genuine honor and a genuine pleasure like it was unbelievable with whom is she trying to deal with that trauma because there's a lot of characters she could wind up talking with at that point um i can't say anything but i do know that you know when i first encountered this person i really cared about her but i also thought she was incredible and i thought she was incredibly resilient and intense and able to handle herself in a way. And I think she's really brought that along with her into this next movie. You know, she's coping with not just the trauma of her past, but the trauma of everything that's been going on. And I think she's um, a very resolved, resilient young woman. You think you have superpowers? It's a feeling, vision. I have to touch them. How do you deal with the pressure of people loving that character so much? And, and obviously yeah. you're being passionate about him. Yeah. How, so how, like, what do you do? How have you dealt with that? You know what is, it, I love that you said it that way because for me, I'm not sure who are the villains and who are the heroes. There's people that do empirical bad things and empirical good things, but their motivations are very complicated. So I, you know, when I was writing him, it just came, it was just so fun to write him. I kept, I was t texting Sam and I'm like, I just love writing this character. I just, it's so delicious that this philosopher from this chair and what he believes in, and he's just struggling to find his place in, in this whole, in the world. And why would he be born this way? What's his mood like in the movie? <laughs> That's a little sneaky. Extra well, <laughs> well, I he, it, I'll tell you what. I, I I was looking forward to him meeting the horde and Patricia and everyone from Split, and that was my favorite stuff. <laughs>